clarification session. And for our next, uh, our first talk, let's welcome Beijing Wang, who's going to tell us a little bit about proving expected sensitivity of probabilistic programs. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this session. Uh, I will introduce our previous work, Proving Expanded Sensitivity of Probabilistic Program with Randomized uh, uh, Variable Dependent Termination Time. Uh, in a short, uh, we focus on probabilistic while loops uh, whose number of loop iterations is randomized and uh, depends on the input. Uh, the motivation of this work is from the analysis of continuity properties. Uh, it specifies that the charge in the output is bounded proportionally by the charge in the input. And there are several related uh, applications, such as the robustness of uh, numerical computations, analysis of stability of learning algorithms, and uh, what we focus on is robustness analysis of programs, especially probabilistic programs, uh, with sampling statements and the probabilistic branches. Um, we are interested in the sensitivity of expanded outcomes over such, over such probabilistic programs. Uh, one application is uh, stability analysis of randomized uh, learning algorithms. Okay, uh, there are many previous uh, approaches that can handle the uh, expected uh, sensitivity analysis well, uh, such as analysis for machine learning algorithms through many proofs. Uh, Coupling-based methods can also work well on several examples from machine learning to uh, statistical physics, and uh, there is a computer algebra uh, based uh, approach that can calculate tight sensitivity bounds. Uh, however, they uh, works only on loops with fixed numbers. And uh, in reality, many probabilistic well loops uh, are with randomized termination time. And uh, so uh, previous results cannot handle such uh, examples. Uh, in our work, uh, we present an automated uh, approach through ranking super martingales, and uh, we prove the non trivial fact that uh, it is compositional under the sequential composition. And uh, we also show the ex effectiveness of our approach uh, through various types of examples, uh, such as stochastic hybrid systems. Uh, random walk, Gabriel's ruling, and uh, we also make a uh, case study on graded, uh, on stochastic graded uh, uh, descent. Okay, uh, in our work, we focus on probabilistic well loops of such form, uh, where phi do p, uh, where phi is the loop guard, p is the loop body without nested loop. Mm. Given such a uh, well Q, uh, we define two types of expanded sensitivity. Uh, so first is expanded affine sensitivity. It specifies that the difference in the out expanded outcomes uh, is no more than uh, A times the distance between inputs um, plus B. If the constant B equals zero, uh, we call it expanded linear sensitivity. Uh, okay, uh, we also require the loop about P is Lipschitz continuous. Uh, and uh, if the Lipschitz constant L uh, is no more than one, uh, we call it is non expansive. Otherwise, we call it is expansive. Uh, so uh, we define the two types of uh, loops. Uh, first, let's consider the non expansive ones. Mm, let's see a uh, popular casino game uh, called Mini Roulette. Um, a player starts uh, this game with X amount of chips. And uh, there are five types of bits with uh, different winning properties. And uh, uh, at each round, he um, needs a chip to make a bet. And uh, he bets as long as he has chips. Mm. In this figure, uh, X is a program uh, that represents the uh, amount of chips, and uh, Omega is a program variable that represents the accurate rewards. Mm. 
if he loses a bit, uh, the chip will not be returned. Otherwise, uh, the chip will not consume, and uh, he will get uh, more chips and additional rewards. Uh, since the form of all assignment statement is linear, uh, we can find that this loop is non-expansive. And uh, we consider expected affine sensitivity for this example. Uh, however, we find it is not easy to prove this property for non-expansive uh, loops. Uh, the reason is that uh, the number of uh, iteration uh, is uh, randomized and depends on the input. Uh, for example, given two close by inputs, uh, the execution from them may not terminate at the same time. Mm, let's see a, a counter example. Um, on the left is a very simple while loop where x is a program variable and uh, R is a uh, sampling variable uh, which observes the uh, Dirac distribution. Um, we choose two close by inputs and uh, the execution from x1 star outputs uh, x1 out. It consumes 1,000 steps while uh, the execution from x2 star uh, consumes just uh, 999 steps. Um, this non-synchronicity prevents us uh, from inferring the total expected sensitivity from the local ones in each uh, loop iteration. Okay. Uh, so to address uh, this issue, we explore a Martingale-based uh, approach. Uh, let's uh, see the notion of uh, IS maps. Uh, it's a function of uh, program variations and uh, the RS map value should be non-negative before program termination and uh, its expanded uh, value uh, should uh, decrease after each iteration. Uh, so we present our first theorem. Uh, if a non-expansive uh, where loop Q uh, has bounded update and uh, an IS map with IS continuity, we can conclude conclude it is expanded a fine set tail. Mm, okay, let's turn back to the mini Lorette example. Uh, since the increment to x and omega are bounded by some constant, uh, we can conclude that x and omega has bounded update. And uh, this expression, uh, we can verify that it is uh, also have it is uh, non-negative uh, before program termination, and uh, its expected value over all the probabilistic branches uh, 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 decreases at after each iteration. Uh, so we can conclude it is an IS map, and uh, verify it is IS continuous. Uh, the IS map. Uh, uh, controls the gap uh, caused by the non-synchronous situations. And uh, finally, we conclude this example is expected of fine sensitive. Uh, so uh, then let's see a continual variant of mini Lorette example. Uh, it is similar to the above one, except that we replace the uh, increment to x uh, with uh, uh, some uh, some uniform distributed uh, uh, simple variables, and uh, we find uh, this loop is also non-expansive. Uh, we want to prove the uh, expected linear sensitivity for this example. Mm. However, we find uh, it is impossible to prove this property uh, by simply extending the approach for affine sensitivity. Mm, let's see a uh, counter example. Uh, we use a similar simple while loop uh, uh, about, uh, but uh, except that it uh, observes a d different uh, distribution for R, and uh, we choose uh, the same two inputs and uh, obtain the same outputs. Uh, however, we find uh, there is no such uh, constant A uh, that can ensure the linear sensitivity for this example. Uh, the reason is also due to the non-synchronicity uh, caused by 
randomize the termination time. Uh, to adjust this, uh, we introduce uh, two uh, more conditions. The first is ellipsis continuity in next step termination. Uh, we give the formula, and uh, the intuition is that uh, the probability of a non synchronous uh, situation is bounded, and uh, also it needs. Uh, Mm, examples uh, already contains uh, simply variables with predefined uh, continuous distributions. Uh, we can verify this condition by a lemma. Uh, the second condition is a difference bounded condition uh, which ensures a concentration property for program termination, and based on it, uh, we can partition the program variations into finitely many regions, and finally, we obtain the global sensitivity coefficient. Okay, uh, then we present the second theorem for linear sensitivity. Uh, if a uh, non expansive well of Q uh, has bounded update and ellipsis continuity in next step termination, and also it has a different bounded RS map for Q with RS map continuity, we can conclude it is expanded linear sensitive. Mm, okay, let's turn back to the continuous variant. Uh, by a similar verification, we can find that X and Omega have bounded update. Uh, and also, uh, through a lemma, we can find it has ellipsis continuity in X determination. And uh, we can also verify the, this RSM map is uh, uh, diffuse bounded and uh, we has, has RSM continuity. So uh, since all the conditions above are satisfied, we can verify that it is expanded linear sensitive. OK, let's uh, talk about expansive wear loops, uh, where the left constant is greater than 1. Mm, we present a stochastic gradient uh, descent algorithm, uh, which is widely used in machine learning algorithms. Mm, in this figure, uh, we show that i is a program variable that represents the simple index of the training data. Uh, unif 1 to n is a simple variable whose value is simple uniformly from 1 to n. g is a total loss function, where uh, gi is the loss function for the i's training data. Uh, r is a constant represents uh, step size, and uh, omega is a vector of program variables that uh, represents the parameter to be learned. Uh, theta is the training data set of size n, and uh, zeta is a threshold for g. Uh, there are three uh, practical assumptions for this example, uh, which ensures uh, program termination and uh, omega have bounded update. Uh, we can find that uh, this example is uh, expensive uh, due to gamma. Uh, the main difficulty to handle expensive ex uh, loops is that uh, uh, the difference uh, in expected uh, program variations may um, tend to be infinite as the number of iterations increases. Uh, so uh, to, to address this issue, uh, we require a different bounded uh, uh, ice map, and uh, we also use a ex ex uh, exponential decrease to connect the unbounded increase. Yeah, the idea is from concentration of termination time. So uh, we find uh, uh, in this uh, example, uh, we have an RS map uh, which is different bounded and uh, with RS continuity. Also, uh, AR is smaller than this spatial amount. Uh, then we, uh, sorry, uh, then we conclude it is expanded a uh, fine sensitive. Uh, until now, we present three theorems and uh, we summarize them and they are prerequisites uh, in this table. Okay. Okay. Uh, finally, let's talk about uh, sequential composition of probabilistic well loops. Uh, the first result is about 
sequential composition for expanded affine sensitivity. Uh, consider a sequential composition in Q and Q prime, uh, such that Q is non-expansive, uh, expanded affine sensitive, and uh, Q prime is expanded affine sensitive over subset U. Uh, more importantly, if the output range of Q matches the input sensitive range of Q prime, then we can conclude that this composition is expanded affine sensitive. Okay. Uh, so next one is about the question computation for expanded linear sensitivity. Yeah, we consider the uh, similar com composition again, and where Q is non-expansive expanded linear sensitive, and uh, Q prime is of uh, is a special sequential composition of such form. Uh, there are uh, two key points. First, uh, each QI, uh, first uh, the output range of each QI sh should fall in the input sensitivity range of each of, of, of QI plus one. And the second is Q prime is expanded linear sensitive uh, over uh, subset U. And uh, if uh, the union of satisfaction set and the output range of Q uh, matches the input sensitivity of Q prime, then we also can we can also conclude this composition is expanded linear sensitive. Uh, we consider some examples and their variants from the literature, and uh, we present results for expanded affine sensitivity in this table. Uh, the first is uh, example name, second is the running time, third is the third is uh, IS, uh, IS map, and uh, the last ones are corresponding constants. We present the results for expanded linear sensitivity in this table, and uh, the layout is similar. Okay, uh, I will finally I will give a conclusion. Uh, in our work, uh, we present a sound approach for proving expected sensitivity, and uh, it can handle probabilistic wire loops uh, uh, whose number of iterations is randomized and depends on its input. Uh, it is also an RS, it is also a RSM based uh, automated approach, and uh, it is compositional on the sequential composition. Um, however, our uh, approach mainly focuses on uh, where loops where there is no conditional branches. Um, it may seem uh, restrictive, but we argue that uh, uh, the inclusion of conditional branches uh, will break sensitivity properties. Okay, uh, for future work, uh, uh, an interesting uh, direction is to extend our approach uh, with a wider class of uh, programs. And uh, another interesting one is uh, uh, generate uh, some new approaches uh, that can derive tight bounds for sensitivity. Uh, iteration with coupling-based approach and uh, some practical issues arising from numerical errors uh, are also worthwhile to address. Uh, okay, uh, that's all. Thanks for your attention. Um, question. Um, thank you for your talk. Um, as far as I understand you correctly, you need that your super Martin Gale, like uh, in one step, it only changes by a constant. Yeah. Um, would like would it help you if it on expectation only changes by a constant? Because I think you need like that the exact dif the difference of the random variables is bounded by a constant. Would it help if the conditional expectation of these difference is bounded by a constant? So you mean uh, if it is not bounded by a uh, constant? Our result to uh, uh, to conditional bounded, but uh, for 
uh, but for the linear thing, uh, because we need we need partition the, the uh, 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 into a finite region, so so we so we require absolute boundedness. Yeah. Uh, does your technique say anything about when you have a non-zero probability of divergence? Uh, what? Does your technique say anything about when you have a non-zero probability of looping forever? Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, if we have an RSM map, uh, then uh, it guarantees that uh, the problem terminates with finite space termination time, so uh, it also implies that uh, the problem terminates uh, with probability one, so there's no case of divergence, yeah. All right, I think that's it then for now. Let's go to the next talk. And let's thank the speaker again.